In this video, I will show you the process of disassembling and cleaning the Jupiter 21M. As you can see, this lens has seen better days for certain, and the aperture it has well, uh, it has an extra hole in it. I actually haven't seen anything like this before. It's extra rusty and extra dirty, so that will be a lot of shit to clean up. In order to take it apart, first of all we have to remove the tail. This lens has some gigantic pieces of crap falling out of it, but I got it for around 10 bucks, so can't really complain. The reflection of my face has been blurred for your own safety. The front ring holds the lens hood. Then all you have to do is what follow the, the damn train seat. All you have to do is unscrew every little screw and every ring that you see. And there is nothing really to comment here. Nothing interesting or difficult. So I think it's time for me to shut up. And now this ring was a total bitch. I barely managed to unscrew it. And I only managed to do it thanks to a little piece cut from a bike tube to get a better grip. And now that the lens block is removed, you can see all of the rust inside. I was really impressed, I did not expect that much rust. Make sure to be careful and not lose this little ball.
And now at this point you want to put some marks on these rings, just so you know how to put them back together. And of course I made sure to keep the entire thing out of frame. Another mark for later. And thus we have gained the access to the aperture. But removing this ring was the most difficult part out of all. It sits really far in there. You can't get to it with a, a normal screwdriver. You can get to it with even the lens spanner. Um, I barely managed to unscrew it. I don't know how I did it, but I did it somehow. Which leads us to the aperture mechanism. Uh, not to mention that it is rusted through and through. It also has some white stuff on it. I don't know what it is. It is completely jammed uh, and doesn't want to move. But even if I wanted to fix it, I couldn't, because one of the blades is totally destroyed. After assembling the lens, I decided to polish the front ring with that. In the end, I finished the repair with no accidents. So the lens is done. Far. Actually, I did this on purpose. Without this mechanism, the lens is the lens is around 3.5 instead of 4. So it is a small improvement in speed. This is the photo before and after. I'm too lazy to test for how much the speed increased, but contrast and sharpness increased dramatically. So. I say this was a success.